The tests that I've done so far have shown me who in this audience is the most prone to hypnosis, and I've narrowed it down to the two people who I think are the most likely trainee killers, although Chris and Alex have no idea what the ultimate aim of this experiment is. The final candidates are about to be put through a challenge that could seriously affect their health, the ice plunge test, overseen by Dr. Stuart Derbyshire, Director of Pain Imaging at Birmingham University. So hypnosis can be used as a very powerful analgesic. If we tell the person the water is warm or tell them that their arm is anesthetized, they put it in the ice water and they don't feel the pain anymore. And importantly, you couldn't do this just by sort of playing along. It'd be pretty tough to do that. Yeah. Excellent. Well, let's welcome our two uh, strapping volunteers. We have Chris and Alex, everybody. With the water temperature approaching freezing levels, Alex and Chris can only keep their arms in the ice bath for just under seven seconds. <laughs> Both had about the same time. About there, yeah. What's it like? Uh, horrendous. It is very cold, isn't it? Good. Sleep and stand and sleep. Sleep. This should change once the hypnotic suggestion is planted. Completely comfortable. You had to lower your arm in, hold it there as long as you like. You simply will not experience any sensation of cold. It'll be completely comfortable feeling just a lukewarm room temperature sensation. Open your eyes, be wide awake. So just slowly, you can both of you just lower, lower your hand in. It's a very different feeling now, isn't it? It's like you're pushing past you know, the sort of plastic ice cubes that you can get. Now, what's it like now? How would you describe it, Alex? Um, it's like the water's not there, it's just a uh, body temperature. Yeah? What's it like for you, Chris? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Pre-hypnosis, Alex and Chris couldn't keep their hands in for more than a few seconds. This time, they stay in for two minutes. So, when I touch the side of the bath, when I grab that, the suggestion will clear. Look. Now what's it like? Oh, it's, oh, it's horrendous, horrible. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, um, I don't, yeah, I don't know why I've done that to me. So, no, but the moment you're, but look, I'm holding this here, at the moment you're feeling pain, right? You are feeling pain in that arm, yeah, now, yes? But now, look, if I let go, yeah. if I let go... Quite calm. The warm sensation returns. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. it's gone back to being warm. The thermal image camera clearly shows the effect of the icy water on the two men. The dark areas on their arms indicate the temperature has dropped dramatically, while the rest of their bodies register normal heat. Right, thank you. Alex, I'm going to ask you just to pop back in your seat there for a second. Chris, I'm going to keep you up here for a little longer. Throughout the evening, I've been assessing both candidates, and I've come to the conclusion that Chris is my perfect subject. There's something of a blank slate about him, which suggests a heightened responsiveness to suggestion. Now I need to confirm that he's at the top 1% of subjects, which is what the experiment requires. Look at me. And sleep. Sleep. Just stand and sleep quite comfortably. That's good. And again, you see, it's not just about your hands and forearms. This is your entire body. The brain controls the entire body. With the water temperature plunging further, I'm going to test Chris's hypnotic responses in a way that has never been done before. I'm going to get him to immerse his whole body in the ice bath. After only 15 minutes in water this cold, Chris's vital organs will start to shut down. After 30 minutes, he could die. But if through hypnosis, Chris is able to create the false reality that the water feels warm, he won't feel the pain and will be able to stay immersed in the ice cold water. So your heart rate at the moment is about 136 BPM. Is that normal? When he first gets in, there's a shock of getting in and it would go spike. And then as he sat there, it would gradually slow down and slow down until he dies. Excellent. <laughs> to ensure his safety, a team of paramedics is standing by. So just slowly, take all the time, just so it's nice and comfy, just pop yourself down. And control the breathing, just breathe in and out, and just take your time. After one minute in the water, Chris's heart rate has dropped from 136 beats per minute to 107. At 50 BPM, the paramedics will be forced to step in. OK, we're going to bring you out, but before we do, what's that like at the moment? Awkward. Like, like Awkward this. position, but... <laughs> but, uh, but apart from that? Yeah, it's fine. Absolutely fine. The water is now 1.4 degrees away from turning into a solid block of ice, and his heart rate has dropped to 85 BPM. He's clearly very capable of dissociating himself from the freezing temperature. The test is a success. 
when I grab the side of the bath, the suggestion will clear. At the moment, it's completely comfortable. And watch what happens when I touch the side of the bath. Okay, I would step out. We're going to wrap you up and get you into a special thermal tank that will just bring you back to a normal temperature. Thank you so much, Chris. I think we've probably found our best subject by far this evening. Well done. This is an experiment that hasn't been done before, Chris, so you've uh, just made hypnotic history there. Well done. Chris, everybody, let's hear it for Chris.